welcome back to another guitar lesson today i'm going to show you how to play unsteady by x ambassadors this song is beautiful and for this song i have uh, come up with this intro over here which is the chorus so first i'm going to show you how to play that and after that we're going to go into the regular chords you know for the intro for the which is the chorus and the verse and so on and that will be very easy because this song requires only four simple chords and i'm going to show you a bit of a finger picking that you can do and i'm also going to show you a simple strum pattern that you can do but first we're going to look at how to play this intro so you can skip over here if you want to go straight to you know the regular chords the regular version all right then for this song we don't need any capo and we're in standard tuning so so for the intro we're using four simple chords b minor g d and a and we are using these shapes over here for this finger style intro so the b minor goes like this but we don't need all these notes over here so we're playing it like this in the beginning right we play these three notes in your ring finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string and then you want to have your index finger have a little bar across second and third strings seventh fret all right so you can play them individually like this or just play them together okay then you want to bring your little finger in and you want to put it on 10th fret all right of second string like that all right 10th fret on the second string and then you want to play third string again right this bar we have over here so right play the third string and then you want to go to ninth fret sorry seventh fret on the first string so you have a complete bar then across the first three strings right seventh fret so you get this right first string is also seventh fret on the having a bar so once again then you come to the next chord which is G major right what you want to do is you want to have a same shape over here just bring your middle finger and put it on eighth fret of second string so you have eighth fret on second string seventh fret on third string and tenth ninth fret sorry on fourth string and play them together like this so from the beginning you have this B minor first come to G right and then after that you can do a hammer-on over here you have your G chord uh, just do a hammer-on from 8th to 10th fret on the second string with your little finger while keeping the shape over here so you get this from the beginning B minor do the hammer on next chord is D major right so for now we're just gonna have a bar again across the fourth string third string second string this is now seventh fret like that play them together all three strings so from the beginning you will have this do the hammer on go to D then play third string third string by itself okay having the same D, D chord and then go over here okay so what I'm doing over here is I'm playing now seventh fret on the second string then I play it again and do a slide back from seven to five on the second string so and then so here you come to your A major all right A major for A major you need your ring finger on seventh fret of the fourth string middle finger is on sixth fret of third string and index is on five fret fifth fret of second string you're gonna play all these three strings together and you play it two times pick them twice so if you take it from the beginning you will have this and now we come to that part I'm a little unsteady for that you play it like this you come back to now B minor and then right so very easy 
Put your B minor on, ring finger, ninth fret of the fourth string. You're gonna have a bar over here, seventh fret like before. But over here, you're just gonna play two strings at a time. So I'm playing the fourth and third strings together. Then you wanna play first string, same seventh fret because you have a bar, so. Right, play the first string. And then you wanna bring your little finger in and put it on the 10th fret of 2nd string. So you get this. And then you want to play 3rd string. 3rd string, having a bar over here, so 3rd string. So you get this. After that, you want to skip back to your G. Right, that's optional, but I like to do it. So it's very easy because you just have to put your, little, your middle finger in on 8th um, fret of the 2nd string. So that becomes your G, right? So this part goes like this again, G major. And now you come to D major and you try to do the same thing. It's just that the bass notes are changing over here. Put your D major on, right? These three notes over here, we played before as well. And again, like before on B minor, you're gonna pick fourth string and third strings together, All right? And then just like before, play the first string, seventh fret, and then play 2nd string, 10th fret, okay? And then again, play 3rd string, bar over here, 7th fret, so you get. And immediately after that, like on B minor, we went to G, from D, you're gonna go back to A major. So, same chord that we used before for A, and play all three strings together. Or you can play them individually. That's your choice. So this last part, I'm a little unsteady, goes like this from the beginning. G major, do this on D, and A. And then just repeat whatever we've learned from the beginning one more time, because this whole line comes again. Hold on. So start with B minor again. back to this part, G major, start with D, that's another thing that you can do after playing your A major, either all three strings together or individually, after that you can do a hammer on from 5 to 7 on the second string, right, and then again play three strings together, so you'll get this, that's what you'll have. And that completes your intro. Alright, so that's how you play the intro, which is the chorus. You can play the chorus either this way, the intro, finger style way, which I just showed you, or you can play simple chords. And so let's look at that now. We're starting with B minor. It goes like this, first of all. Hold, hold on, hold on to me, as I'm a little unsteady. A little unsteady. Repeat the whole thing again. Hold. Start with B minor. You can play it this way, have a bar on the second fret across all the five strings, or you can play it the easy way. Just have second fret on the first string, third fret on the second string, and fourth frets on the third and fourth string. Alright, this or this. Come to G major. Just strumming these chords once. Alright, to play G major, you need top string, third fret, second fret on the fifth string, then you have third frets on the first two strings as well. Then you come to D major. For D you need these two fingers on the second fret of the first and third strings, and your ring finger on third fret of second string. Fourth string is open. And then come to A major. So second frets on the fourth, third and second strings. First string is open. And that's gonna be your intro. So the counting will go like this, B minor, one. Two, G major, three, four, D, one, two, and A major, four. I'm a little unsteady. Back D, little unsteady. Now let's move on to the verse. The verse will go like this. Right, so you can either do that strum pattern or you can do something like this a little finger style pattern over here all 
All right. So let me show you the strum pattern first. Moving from B minor. Now we come to A major for the verse. Then you come to G, and then you come to D. So you know how to play all these chords because it's the same chords that we use in the chorus, just that they're in different order. Okay, so the strum pattern will go like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up. That's what you have on each chord. B minor first, down, down, up, down, down, up. Come to A major, down, down, up, down, down, up. So if you notice, the third down stroke, the accent is on the third down stroke. On the third down strum, I'm going a little hard, you know, so that it, it gives it that effect. So the first down strum, down, down, up, down. Third one, just uh, strum it a little bit harder. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, A major, down, down, up, down, down, up. You get the point, right? And that's gonna be your verse. call this the pre-chorus we can call this part the pre-chorus but it's same as the verse so you know you can the same chords as the verse same strum pattern as the verse b minor down down up if you love me don't let go down down up, down 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 d major repeat again and then you come back to the chorus of the song and now we come to the chorus of the song where we're again going to use the strum pattern and we're going to use the same chords that we used in the intro because the intro is the chorus again. In the intro, we just played all chords just once. You know, now in the chorus, we're going to use the strum pattern and use the same chords. But before that, I'll be showing you how to play the verse using this easy finger style picking over here. So if you want to skip right into the chorus, please skip over here. You can go directly to the chorus and learn the strum pattern. So we again on B minor. All right, so you know how to play the chord. Now you have second fret on the fifth string. You can't play like this. You gotta have a second fret on the fifth string. And you have fourth frets on the fourth and third strings, and third fret on the second string, first fret again on first string. So you're playing 5th string first, then you come to the 4th string, 3rd string, okay? So you come to the 5th string, 4th string, and 3rd string, so like that. And then you play the 1st string and the 2nd string. So you get this, string number 5, 4, 3, 1, 2, on B minor, right? A major. So A major, I'm now having a bar, alright, across the fourth string third string and second string second fret and i'm using the same pattern over here playing the fifth string then playing fourth string and third string and then i play the second string and third string so five four three two three that's the string number so from the beginning you have b minor a major now you come to g major so for G, you just need 3rd fret on the top string and 3rd fret on 2nd string. I'm playing the top string first, then I play the 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, back to 3rd string. So, then you come to D major, and I'm skipping one note, one beat over here, you can say. I'm playing 4th string open over here, right, and then I come directly to third string, second string, and third string again. So second fret and third fret. So that's what you get. So instead of ten, ten, and ten, ten, just play ten, 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 ten. So I'm skipping one beat over there. So from the beginning on B minor, all right, that's gonna be your verse. Which is going to be the same. 
For the chorus, we're now using strum pattern. So let's move on with the chorus then. Same chord says intro of the song because that's the chorus as well. So B minor. Oh. Down, down, up, down, down, up. We're using the same strum pattern that we used in the verse. Down, down, up. Then harder on this down strum. Down. Okay, put the accent on this down strum, G major, down, down, up, down, down, up, D major, A, cause I'm a little unsteady, a little unsteady, repeat again, and you come back to the second verse, same as first verse, you come to the pre-chorus, same as first one, come to the chorus again, Again, same as the first chorus that we just learned. Then what happens after the second chorus is that the chorus is repeated again. That will be your final chorus. So there's no bridge in the song. So you can just strum all chords once that you did in the intro. That's the ending. You can do that or either what you can do is you can just play the intro again, all right? So you can be in the song with the intro and you can end the song with the intro as well. That's how you can end the song. Just play the intro or play the chords. Alright, so I hope you liked the lesson. That's all there is in the song. Four simple chords, very easy to play. I hope you liked it. If you did like the lesson, then make sure to subscribe to my channel for more guitar lessons. I will see you guys next time with another guitar tutorial. Till then, take care and goodbye.